Big up, big up, big up. Siblings in St. James Chapel, Slapaway identified. Detectives from the Major Investigation Division are busy Wednesday probing the gun attack at the Irwin Heights St. James home that left the 11 year old girl and her 19 year old twin brother's demise. The deceased have been identified by the police have. Gavani Stewart, also called Bigger, Gavani Stewart, their sister Peter Gay, Coke. Reports are that about 7 p.m., a relative of the victim left them and an infant at the premises to run an errand nearby. Upon hearing explosion, believed to be a gunshot coming from the direction of the house, the relative returned to the premises and saw the wounding siblings in a bedroom. The relative reportedly took the infant who was not armed from the bedroom and summoned the police. Upon their arrival, the police reportedly saw three siblings inside the bedroom with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to their upper bodies. They were taken to the hospital where all was pronounce D E A D I drama in Mandeville as shooters engage police in firefight. There was a high drama in the Manchester capital Thursday afternoon as shooters engaged the police in a daring firefight along the main street in the vicinity of Villa Plaza. Forensic people scampered to safety as gunshot ran out. Investigators say sometime after 3 p.m. the police respond to a tip that suspicious people were in a motor car. The police reportedly attempted to intercept the vehicle when they were fired on. It was just one barrage of gunfire that sounded like it was coming from everywhere, said one man who were near the villa plaza in the vicinity of the shooting. He said a woman was among the shooters. It was one of what we read about in places like Kingston and Montego Bay. He said another man who said the eyewitness incident told the news that it happened quickly. I was sitting in my van in the parking lot. I closed my eyes for a minute because I'm tired. And all I started to hear was gunfire. By the time I look up, I see a car, a blaze gone, and a bag of police in the area, said the eyewitness who requested not to be named. The shooters managed to flee in a motor vehicle. However, the police retrieved a number of spell shells from the scene. Sorry, them boy and ain't get clapped with. Them boy, you should I get clapped up. Anyway, we continue. Second suspect held in sentence villa manager. The sentence police have detained a second suspect in the slap away of a villa manager, the 65 year old Clyde Taylor. Taylor decomposed body with chop wounds was found in a truck. Of his, in the trunk of his 2013 Nissan Note motor car last week. Four days after he was reported missing, the abandoned car was found in Tapil Runaway Bay Center. 
addressing the monthly general meeting at the Centan Municipal Corporation on Thursday. Head of the Centan's Police Division, seen as Superintendent Dwight Powell, said the second suspect, now in custody from Centan. Powell later told the news that both men will be charged in relation to Taylor's demise. We are looking to lay charges before the week. Um, certain charges will be laid, Powell said. Taylor, who managed the Sunflower Villa in Salem Runaway Bay, left home around 9 p.m. on Saturday, February 26, driving his grey Nissan Note. Later that night, when calls from his family went straight to voicemail, the family became concerned. The following morning, a missing person report was filed at the Runaway Bay Police Station. Taylor's Slapaway in Sentan is the ninth in the parish since the start of the year, down from 12 from a similar period last year. Catch them, <laughs> but dirt them. Want to catch them, but dirt them is the better way. Can't come back, come give no problem. Me, Muma. Stephanie Christie, alias Muma, the only woman in the ongoing Klansman trial, swore on her child's life to a police officer that she was trying to bribe that if the alleged leader of the gang, whom she was her partner, was released from custody, the gang would give him two tall up, tall up, Cross's brand new rifle. As payback, a retired police with more than 30 years of experience in cost the constabulary on Wednesday identified the accused for a court ongoing trial of 33 alleged gang members with a grand flourish stating that's the great Muma, according to the former policeman Christy, purportedly a pastor made to vow after he had turned down her initial half of 100,000 to spring Brian. He said he had been conducting an interview with Brian who had been taken in for a question in relation to extortion allegations in September of 2017 in the Spanish town CIB. He was told that someone was outside to see upon Going outside, he said, he almost collided with Christy, who, is, who he was meeting for the first time, he said. The diamative woman engaged him in a conversation for almost two hours. She approached me and asked if I was Mr. Name Redacted. And I told her, yes, I asked her, who wants to know, she said. I am the baby mother of Levity Cook from Tivoli, the former police said. He said, when asked her a reason for I wanted to see him, Christy, who's the witness, whom the witness have testified, was the licensed officer between incarcerated members of the criminal outfit was also linked between the gang and row cops replied, you have the G meaning the general referring to Mr. Brian is my man. He said she went further to tell him that she had heard he was the one who had locked him up and was picking up other gang members from off the street. I said to her, look at you, you have two of the bodies, bad man them in a Jamaica. Oh, you manage that? And she laughed and said, Mister, the thing up like that. Inner the thing, you like that. The farmer lawman said, Brian, who was being sitting upright, suddenly twist sideways, bending his head way down, according to the retired policeman. Christy replied, Get the G out. And asked what she could do to assist. He said when he informed her that he could not assist her. 
she stated, Mister, things can happen. In a things can happen. I said, like what? She repeated, I said, you have your bad man friend them on each side, left and right. I, as a police, find myself in the middle. If things go on, no shoot out that man. Two gunmen and one police. We must dead, he said. He must. To Christy, she laughed and said nothing like that. So me say, what you mean then? The farmer cop replied. He said, Christy then said, me can give you a hundred for release, Mr. Brian. The cop who said he bristled at that suggestion and said, Walk away from the accused who then held on to him and said, Cool no man. I said to her, A this you are this me. In a girl, this you are this me. You have two other bodies man them in a Jamaica. And you are look for me as a policeman. And I come after me. One hundred thousand dollar. You mad? The farmer caca. She said, Just cool now. Just calm down. By then I started to reflecting on my training and I said, okay, I need two rifles. The retired lawman said, he said, Christy whose face got aminated, reply, at that at the least, that at the least, he told the court that when he asked Christy if she had control over such guns, she responded, when the G come out, that are the least. We get that, that and a nothing, the lawman said. It was then when he issued the charge to Christy that she pleaded her child's life. Before I left her, I said to her, my girl, a serious thing, me inner. Me need the rifle them. What you say? Me I go get and me no want no old one where uno no want and need crasser. He said it was then that Christy said hand up praise vow me swear me swear pam me pick me life anyhow the G come out of that no problem me swear pam me pick me life he said the woman had sought to bargain with him over the release of the other individuals who had been picked up. He told the court that he had some five numbers for Christy who called and WhatsApp messaged him numerous times. He, in the meantime, went on to identify Brian from amongst the other accused from the court. That's black man. There, standing now, but him look brown. He is Andre, the lawman said, pointing with a broad smile. An equal beaming Brian stood, grinning windingly, mass remove. Findling with his pants waist before resume to his seat. Yesterday, the farmer police inspector said, upon returning to Brian's, after his encounter with Christy, he told him, Your woman come and a try strike a deal with me. The arrangement is to get two tall up. The farmer lawman said, Brian laughed and said, Cool no man. Now worry yourself about that. He said, Upon asking Brian for a contact number, he supplied him with one that he recognized as one of those given to him by Christy. He said, then, jokingly remarked to Brian, Big man, you're good enough. How you manage the thing outside? Referring to Christy, the only reason you have a come out there this evening is because you're a woman. But, go on. He told the court that he had not arrested Christy for trying to bribe him because it was his plan to use her to get information on the gang. He also testified that Christy, from time to time, pumped him from inside information, but said he mislead her. The trial 
continues on Monday morning at 10. Please stay tuned for such update. Live good. Work good. Bless up.